No hocus pocus on this channel. If I'm screwing something up, you guys get to see. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is James and this is Killing It Country. Today's video is gonna be all about the excavator. This is my 2021 Kubota KX040-4. It needs some service. Let's get into it. All right, so this might seem a little redundant, but I do want to run this machine in order to warm it up before this oil change. So we'll just double check to make sure we actually have lots of oil in it, even though we are going to drain it. And let's get this bad boy fired up. Get this garage door opened up and see if we can track down my supplies. I did pick up these filters and this oil from my local Kubota dealer uh, at the time that I did the service on the BX and I can link to the BX oil change now. Uh, maybe some guys are interested in that. Guys or gals, guys or gals. So this is the fuel filter that I'm going to be putting in this machine and I will put the, uh, the part numbers up on the screen or in the description or both depending on how I feel. This is the oil filter. I opened it by accident when I did the, uh, the oil change on the BX. So in order to keep it clean, I put a rubber glove on the bottom of the container. So or on the bottom of the filter and that did the trick. So I'm going to see if I can't get myself a table or a workspace out here and we'll get all this stuff set up and get to work. Oh, a jackpot. It's just got a little bit of chainsaw goo on it. Oil, fuel filter, oil filter, paper towel. A couple of rubbers, rubber gloves that is. Well, I suspect that's probably warm enough. I don't need to scald myself doing an oil change, but I do like it to be warm a little bit. Let's open up the side compartment too, just for the fun of it. Oh, that one was already unlocked apparently. Check for any unwelcome guests in here. All right, what do I need first? Oh, look at that, very first thing I did and the gloves already ripped. Come on, junk. Need orange gloves. These green ones, you can't trust them. So there's my oil filter down there. You can see the, uh, the yellow dot facing up on the oil filter. And uh, I was actually just thinking to myself, oh, do I fit down here? Good grief. How am I gonna do this and stop oil from getting all over the inside of the excavator because that makes me crazy. Um, you can see, I don't know how well you can see, but there's a tray in here. It's, uh, it's curved and has this hose that comes off of it. And it looks like if I were to crack the oil filter loose, oil would drip down onto this tray, go into the hose, and come right out here. And that is extremely thoughtful. What a great idea from Kubota. Um, I wish there was something like that on the BX. Maybe there is something on the BX23S that they're producing currently, I'm not sure, but that's pretty great. So I'm gonna grab a filter wrench. I'm gonna see if I can crack that loose from the top and we'll uh, get our drain pan here and get this thing draining. So uh, this is my go-to filter wrench. It uh, really doesn't seem to have any issue getting on filters of all shapes and sizes. Uh, so let's give this a go. All right, so I can already tell I'm gonna be able to loosen this, no problem. I get my drain pan before I get too carried away. 
people wonder sometimes why I take the oil filter off first, and it's very simply because if I can't get the filter off and I've already drained the oil, then it renders the equipment useless. Unless you want to put the dirty oil back in after it's been in the pan, or put clean oil back in and then have to drain it again once you finally do get the oil filter off. I like to avoid those situations. Now how do I get this filter out of here without spilling it? Come on, Kubota. Oh, oh, oh yeah, baby. Pull that rag out. See, look at all that oil that would have spilled everywhere down there. Instead, I'll just totally spill it all over the back counterweight here. Why not? Undercoating complete. That's where, that's the mating surface for the oil filter there. Dripping down onto that, uh, that bent piece of steel with that round hole. The other end of that round hole is connected to that piece of black rubber pipe and drains down underneath into my oil pan. That's really, really clever. I like that. Good job, Kubota. All right, so the next thing I have to do is uh, get a socket for this uh, drain plug on this oil pan. I wonder, it may have been intelligent of me to, uh, you know, rotate the cab a little bit uh, in place here just so that plug wasn't going to be in the way of this track, but it's obviously too late for that now because I've got the filter out, so we're just going to make do. Uh, if I have to, I'll just let that drain into a into a funnel that leads over into this pan or something. I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. What size are we? What size are we? I feel like it's big. What's that? One inch? This will probably end up being metric. You watch. 15 sixteenths. Uh, let's try those. It'll be a good starting point anyway. Huh. The beast is back. Man, I hope that thing doesn't need any maintenance. I am not in the mood today. Oh my goodness. It's a little bit smaller than 15 sixteenths, maybe. 15 sixteenths, no bueno. 7 eighths, uh, I think that might be a little small. Where's our metric stuff? have my conversion hat on. There's a 24 millimeter here all by itself. Uh, let's try them. Let's try 7 8 and 24 millimeters. No hocus pocus on this channel. If I'm screwing something up, you guys get to see. All right. 24, too big. 7 8 just right. All right, let's get a breaker bar. That ought to do it. All right, set this camera down for just a second until I break that loose. Is this gonna make it into the pan? Your guess is as good as mine. You know what, I'm gonna get a funnel just to have on standby, because you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna bust that thing loose and be confident that it'll drain into the pan and then it's totally not going to drain into the pan and then I'll be panicked and I won't be able to thread the plug back in and oh, your children will learn new words because they're listening in the background. All right. Funnel. Standby funnel. how much is in this. Probably should have checked that too. Man, this thing was tight. Oh, beautiful. I am such a good estimator. That's a lot of oil. Maybe I should uh, clean under here one of these days too. Alright, we'll let that drain and I will grab a rag. So this is the point in the video where I had some technical difficulties with my audio. 
I'm still learning about this DJI wireless microphone. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Fill the new oil filter with fresh oil and screw it on until it's hand tight. Then I grabbed my uh, handy dandy funnel, flushed it out with some clean oil, and used it to top up the engine with new oil. Once I was satisfied that I had enough oil in this machine, I could put the cap back on the fill port and run this thing up and check for leaks. All right, so upon closer inspection, I do not believe that uh, Kubota has provided me with the correct fuel oil filter. This is a 15221-43170, and uh, what I would like to change, or the filter that I thought I was purchasing was RD15951022. Um, I, I looked up in the My Kubota app, and it doesn't appear that I even need to change this fuel filter right now. It actually was just the oil and the oil filter that I was concerned about, so I'm happy. Uh, what I'm going to do now is clean up and uh, grab the grease gun and uh, get around this machine and do some greasing. I'm out of grease. All right, so you take the cap off the end. Slide your guy in there. Take the other end off like a can of sardines. Screw that guy back on. Precariously push this back in here so that it can blow apart in your hands and break your fingers. Oh. I can just hear the boys now. Oh, get the Milwaukee. Battery operated. Hey buddy, how you feeling? Wanna be on YouTube? You want, you want to Talk about your head on YouTube? Yeah, come over here. Come show, come show YouTube what happened on the bus this morning. Come stand in front of me, turn around. So the bus driver apparently applied the brakes rather abruptly and uh, Finley got jostled around in the seat and hit her head either on the frame of the seat or on the window and had just under an inch gash. Look at the blood on the back of her, the back of her shirt here. So she's quite the trooper, brave girl. Went to the doctors and had it uh, flushed out with saline and did they glue it back together? Yeah, pretty wild. So we're not quite sure what to, to do with the bus company now or ask some questions maybe. So now that I got this grease gun completely reassembled, it's time for me to, uh, you know, totally pump on it for half an hour and have nothing come out of it. Well, I guess I'm done greasing because this thing stopped working again. I was having a bit of difficulty with it at the start and, uh, and then I was able to get it to pick up and I got everything greased on the excavator except some of the points I want to hit on the, uh, the three-way blade. So we're just gonna have to uh, mess around with this off camera and try to get it working and we'll finish this job another time. So uh, I hope you like that. 
if you uh, enjoy this kind of thing, please smash that like button and uh, maybe subscribe if you're interested in seeing some more. Uh, if not, that's okay too. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you in the next one.